Hi guys, this is Sadiq from droidbin.com. In this video, we will show you how to access the Android data and OBB folder on your Android 13 device. So back in Android 11, Google launched the scoop storage system, as a result of which third party apps will no longer be able to access either the data folder or the OBB folder. But in Android 12, we managed to find a loophole using which we could easily access both these folders. However, in Android 13, Google has patched that loophole and it's again causing quite a few issues. But we have managed to found a workaround using which you could easily access both the Android data and OBB folder on your Android 13 phone. So let's check out how this could be carried out. First and foremost, let me show you what exactly is the issue. So this is the files app from Google, the default files app on my device. Now if I go to Android and data folder, it's showing completely blank. Same is the case with OBB folder. So what exactly is the issue? Well, the files app no longer have the permission to access both this directory. And if you talk about third party file manager apps, so let me show you using this. This is the solid file manager app, third party app. In this, the situation is somewhat good. You will at least be able to access both these folders. But the issue is you would not be able to paste any files in either data or OBB folder. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go to Android data, it will ask for a grant permission. If I tap on grant, it will show me that you cannot use this folder and even the use this folder button has been grayed out. But if I do back, then I will at least be able to see all the files in this folder. And same is the case with OBB. If I go to OBB folder, tap on grant, it will say that it cannot use this folder. But if I go back, I will at least be able to view the files. But viewing the files is not our main objective. Our main task is to copy and paste files in this folder. So for that, we will making the use of a nifty workaround. Let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to disable the default files app on your phone. In my case, it is a files by Google app. So I will disable it. Once that is done, go to Play Store and download this files app by Mark Software. Actually, it's not a file manager app, but it is only used to invoke the hidden files app on your PC, on your mobile. Yes, every phone has a hidden files app as well. And this app will invoke that files app. So install it and then open it. And it has launched the default hidden files app on your phone. Now you could see that we could easily access the Android data and the Android OBB folders. But our main task is to copy paste the files in these folders. So for that, tap on the overflow icon at the top right and select new window. With this, you have two instances of the files app. So long press on its icon and select split top. Again, select the same app for the bottom window. Now you have two files app in the top and bottom window. In the top window, go to either the data or OBB folders. Let's go to data. And in the bottom window, go to the file that you need to move to the data folder. For example, if let's try and move the nothing file. com.nothing is its name. So long press on it and just drag it to the above folder. You could see the item is now being moved. And the item has now been moved. Similarly, let's now try to do the same in the OBB folder. So go to OBB and let's now try and paste the T-Mobile app. Long press on it and then drag it to the OBB folder. As you could see, the file is being moved. And the file now has been successfully moved, as you could see. So as of now, this is the only workaround that would help you access both the OBB and data folder in the Android 13 device. And guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comments. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.